the right to bear arms is fundamental to our system. It, the, the founders put it right up there, right behind free speech and, and freedom of religion. And for obvious reasons. Uh, if, if, the, if the citizens are, are armed, then they're citizens. And if they're not armed, they're subjects. And none of us like to talk about um, you know, violent revolution in this country. We've been so fortunate to live in a country where we have our revolutions at the ballot box. And we don't, we don't need to worry about you know, our armed resistance too often. We've been fortunate geographically. We've been fortunate in so many ways. But the fact is that there is a well-trodden path by which people take over countries. Um, it often goes through the money and through the guns. And if you were looking right now for, for reasons to be uh, concerned or for tripwires that you should look at you know, to, to know when things are really going off the rails, I think the increasing um, enthusiasm for gun control laws uh, is, is a, a real cause for concern. Um, whether I was in favor of, of, of gun control or whether I thought it reduced crime, for, for, what, what, no matter what I thought about any of that, you have to stick with the Constitution. It's in the Second Amendment. You have to honor that. As it happens, of course, it does reduce crime. Uh, and it does uh, allow people to protect themselves. And one of my friends said, you know, she carries a 357 because a policeman's too damn heavy. Uh, that's just, that's a right that you have to give people. They, they have to be allowed to protect themselves. And um, I, uh, someone said recently, I can't remember who it was, but they were saying that the great thing about, um, about firearm protection is that it is a disruptor of the natural order. Well, what does that mean? It means if you're small and weak, you're going to get beat up a lot unless you've got some way of uh, sort of turning the natural order upside down. It's a force equalizer for people who would otherwise go through life as victims. I don't think government has any business telling citizens that they should be victims. Let's talk as, listen Mark, we have police, we have all these other ways to protect people. Isn't it a little extreme to say that people need to take the, take the sort of lethal deadly force into their own hands? Well, when seconds count, the police are just minutes away. That's a good point. <laughs>